In this video, Burt Walters, the Leipzig regional champion, takes us through his list, changes he might make for Australia, and a brief tournament report from Leipzig. All that coming up. Hey, 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 this is Seagrove, and I'm here today with Bert Walters, who won Leipzig Regional with what looks to be a very strong deck for the upcoming format and is obviously a very strong deck for this current format. But uh, before we get into it, Bert, why don't you introduce yourself uh, for those who don't know you? Okay, so hi, I'm Bert. Uh, I'm from the Netherlands. I've been playing Pokemon for competitively for about nine years. Uh, I've had some decent results. One my national championship once, uh, top eight at Worlds in 2016, and got multiple top cuts at regional championships. But this is uh, my first time actually winning one, so that was really exciting. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so, first question um, is about if you think this deck, how you think this deck is positioned in the international meta uh, for Australia. Are you going to be going to Australia? Uh, I'm not going to Australia, no. Okay. If you were going, you would play this, yeah? Yeah, yeah, probably. Okay. How does it sit? Like, what are its matchups like um, among the top tier decks? I think it has mostly good matchups against the top tier decks. Uh, there aren't any decks that really give it a, a real hard time. Uh, decks like Trashland, Garbodor could, but there aren't really much of those yeah. in the meta. Uh, and it does really well against like Gardevoir, most Zorark decks, especially Zorark Lycanroc is a pretty good matchup. Uh, so that's really nice. And then for us, you have a lot of 50-50s against Volcanion or Vikabulu and those kind of decks. So I think it's a really strong deck in the meta right now. Okay. Um, my other question is, are there any changes you would make if you were taking this to Australia? Or any cha um, yeah, if you're taking this to Australia, what changes would you make? Uh, depending on how much uh, mill I expect, uh, I've tested some against the mill decks that pop up in Leipzig, especially yeah. the uh, Wobbuffet Break deck. Uh, and if you don't uh, hit amazing, it's really hard to beat that. Yeah. So maybe checking in uh, either a 1 1 Carbink or just one of the baby Lycan Rock uh, oh, okay. to KO the Hoopas easily could be good, but it really depends on how much mill you expect in Australia. Uh, if you don't expect mill, there's no reason to play the cards because they're pretty dead otherwise. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it's always safe to to have a tech against it. Did you feel like um, at the end of this tournament that every card was was perfect, every count was perfect? Uh, yeah, I think so. I don't think I would have changed anything. I during the tournament I thought about maybe playing a super rod instead of the rescue stretcher mm -hmm. uh, just in case you had to discard many basic energies early on so you yeah. could shuffle them back to a higher chance of hitting your max elixir right uh, but the rescue stretcher also came in clutch a couple of times okay very cool all right so let's go on um, and talk about your tournament run so what if you want to walk us through level um round by round or if you want to just talk about matchups whatever you want to do is good uh sure uh first round i played against uh, a pokedad playing pikabulu which is like playing against pokedad is nice but pikabulu can always beat you right. uh, but fortunately he didn't start off well game one so i won in game two he made a misplay so i also won then i beat two uh a zora galispots in a row wasn't too hard i think maybe i lost the game don't okay. remember. Do you th is that matchup pretty positive? Um, depending on how they play it, I think it's uh, kind of positive, like 60-40, uh, 55-45. Mm -hmm. But if they play uh, Mewtwo, or especially Mew, it can be really hard for you. Yeah. Uh, but then you would just have to try to knock out their Galissapod uh, using your Lycanroc and then attack with Lycanroc and Zygarde. Okay. Then it's doable, but it could be difficult. But I didn't have trouble in the tournament. Uh, then I lost my next round to uh, Zorak Lycanroc because I kind of got surprised by his Mew EX okay. in the first game. And game two, he also got it out in the second turn. Uh, and I didn't really have an answer then. So I lost that round. Uh, then I won two more rounds in a row. I can't quite remember. I think one against the Galispot Garbodor deck. 
Okay. Uh, once against a Gardevoir deck, I think. Mm -hmm. Which were both both like decent matchups. Okay. I think I lost game one against both of them, uh, but I was able to pull it out. Did you ever play... <clears throat> did any of the Guardians that you ended up playing play a Mr. Mime? Uh, no. No, they didn't. Uh, I did in my... Uh, in round eight, I faced a, a Zorak Lycanroc deck playing Mr. Mime. Okay. Which was uh, interesting. But I think probably a Mew EX would be better. Yeah. Because I started off really well and was able to just goose my round to Mr. Mime and still kill most of his basics sure. and his Zorark. So that wasn't too tough. But my second round, uh, second loss of Swiss was in round seven against the Ho'o Kiawe deck, which is like a real uh, who starts, who wins matchup. Yeah. Because the person who starts just gets way more energy into play, can get rid of her opponent's energy. Uh, and he won a flip, so he won games one and three. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much how that went. Was that the, the guy who posted his list where he was playing um, just two... Just two Kiawe? Yeah, two okay. Kiawe, four Tapu Lele. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think it was first seed after day one as well. What was your record? So, uh, after day one, my record was uh, six to one. Okay. Uh, because, yeah, one rounds uh, seven and eight, and then I I did my last round to just be safe for top thirty two. Yeah. And then we actually had to play round ten already on the same day. Because, <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Because uh, because of time constraint, it was a dream hack, and they wanted to close uh, on they wanted to close on six at Sunday. Okay. Uh, so we had limited time on Sunday, so they wanted to do round ten then. Uh, which I also lost to a Volcanion deck, which, like, he hit everything he needed. He played uh, Oranguru, mm -hmm. and he Oranguru'd for one card for exactly the steam up he needed, or for two cards for two steam ups. Yeah. So it's like, I just got destroyed with nothing I could do. Uh, so after, like, the first day, I was 6-3-1, uh, so I had to win out uh, the next day to make top eight. And I play another Volcanion, uh, first round of. Uh, uh, first out of the next day, so I'm like, okay, here we go again. Yeah. But good for me, he wasn't uh, as lucky as my previous opponent. Uh, he missed some elixirs, and I think he whiffed an energy once, so I was able to pull it out. Uh, then I played against uh, the Zora Lycanroc guy I lost to uh, day one. Okay. Uh, but this time I was prepared for his Mew and just charged up Zygarde, which is what you do against deck that's play Mew. Uh, and I was able to take it pretty convincingly. And then I had to play against Sylvian Mill, uh. which is... Uh, it's some matchup, but it's pretty decent for my deck because you can just charge up a Boswell on the bench with max elixirs and try to, if they play down Hoopa, KO it with uh, with your right. Rockruff. But I got a lucky break game one because he started two EVs, no energy, so one in two turns, which was pretty sweet. Yeah. But then, I guess game two, I got punished by not drawing a supporter card. And at some point, he just played a Skull Grunt for like, two cards in hand. Both were energies. Uh, so then it, so then I just scooped because there was no way I could win. Yeah. And then game three, I hit a couple of elixirs early game, which was really good. I think I hit uh, my Absorption GX turn two that game to wow. knock out his Sylvian. And then he missed the Crushing Hammer flip. So he only discarded one energy. He had a strong energy to KO his second Sylvian. Uh, and then he stalled with Hoopa for a while. And I just uh, I had one strong energy under my Rockruff and just needed to hit the second one. And we played like, I don't know how many turns, maybe eight turns. And then I finally hit the second strong energy. So I was able uh, to KO his Hoopa, win the game. Nice. So then I was at my winning in, playing the same uh, uh, Ho'o Kiawe guy I played day one. Yeah. But this time I won the flip, so I won games one and three. <laughs> so there you go. It's, yeah. Lucky at the right time, I guess. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so then we move on to top eight. Another Zorak Lycan Rock deck. I don't remember if he played Mew, uh, but I think both games he opened pretty mediocre, and I just opened good, and then that matchup is just a cakewalk if your opponent doesn't draw well. Yeah. Because Boswell just takes out everything. Uh, for sure, he didn't play Mr. Mime, so I just could set up multiple KOs. Uh, so it wasn't too, too hard. I was done in like 15 minutes. Nice. Uh, then I played in Grenin against Greninja in top four. Um, and like game one, I had a decent start, not amazing. And he gets a turn 
two water duplicates, so I'm thinking like, eh, this is gonna be hard. But then he only benched one for good air because yeah, yeah, two are yeah. priced. So I'm like, okay, easy win. Greninja things. Just Greninja things. So I take that game pretty easily. Uh, game two, he actually gets his uh, uh, his water duplicates for uh, all four Frogadiers into play. So it gets a bit harder, but he's only able to get out like one Greninja at a time. And I'm able to KO those pretty consistently. Uh, at some point, he Tapu storms my boss hole uh, with energies away, but I'm okay. able to charge up another one and take uh, my last two prizes on a on his Fini on the bench. Okay. Uh, so that was still pretty comfortable win. And then the finals. So that 2-0? Yeah, also 2-0. <laughs> uh, I took all my top eight matches. Nice. In the finals, I played against Vika Bulu. Uh, and game one is ridiculous because we both start pretty bad. Uh, I start with my Zygarde, which is awful in the matchup, but he only has two uh, two Tapu Bulus and no uh, no other Pokemon. So I'm able to just uh, put some damage on. He doesn't get enough Grass Energies to KO my Zygarde. Okay. Uh, and I get a big lead and I'm able to win this game before he gets set up. Uh, and the second game, he does get his turn two Vika Volt, gets a good setup. But I'm able to take out the Vika Volt by turn three, I think. Mm -hmm. So he has two strong charges. So it's two uh, Bulus almost charged into play. Um, and I'm able to hit a crucial Max Elixir on one of my bench Pokemon, uh, bench boss walls, to absorption one of his Bulus out and he uh, and end him to two, and he misses the KO on it. So I'm uh, able to take my last two prizes with uh, cool. Knuckle Impact. That's awesome. <laughs> so you won and um, you get lots of money and fame yep. and um, how many points are you at now I'm at uh, I just played the League Cup last weekend which I won so I'm at uh, 462 points now awesome just just in top 16 of Europe now so I yeah. hope everybody <laughs> kind of does bad in Australia so <laughs> I can stay top 16 and maybe go to Brazil there you go awesome well um what are you is there any are there any cards or any decks you're looking forward to to the next set since you're not going to australia um i don't think there are any decks i want to play myself from the next set uh obviously magnetone and the crossma is pretty good i think that's going to have an impact and also the the glacian deck uh but i think i might either continue playing bustle because that still stays so pretty good <laughs> Uh, like Glacian doesn't do much against Bustle because you have Octillery yeah. and uh, yeah, you just do. You can maybe play Sudwoodo against the Necrozma deck against the Magneto deck, so that's a pretty decent matchup. Or I might try it out Greninja again because uh, with Cynthia it gets an extra boost in consistency, which is nice. And Greninja is always a strong deck. Yeah. Uh, so those are like kind of the decks I'm looking at for for the next tournament. Which is going to be Malmo Regionals for me in like two weeks. Okay. Well, um, thank you so much for joining me for this. And is there any um, any shout outs or anything you'd like to give? Uh, no, not really. Just uh, follow me on Twitter at Pokebird1. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you so much.